We are on the bus. We are on our way to a brand new mall in Seoul. The, lar the largest mall in Seoul, which is saying a lot. It's supposed to be 12 stories, six floors above ground, six floors below ground. And it just opened yesterday, so we're gonna go check it out. Um, we're on the bus. There's Eli and the girls and me and Jordan. So we're excited to see this mall. There's like a garden area in the middle with a waterfall apparently. So we'll see. Okay, 45 minutes later and we've made it. This is it. These are the six stories that are above ground. There's six stories below ground. It's called the Hyundai Seoul. The Hyundai. Hyundai and Samsung are big names here. They own apartments and sponsor a ton of things. So biggest mall in Seoul. Here we go. Here we are in the entrance. Prada. There's There's a waterfall here. There's also another waterfall over there. It's like this gardeny kind of area. There's the floors and the ceiling. Um, pretty high name stores so far that we've seen. Balenciaga. <laughs> Things I can't pronounce. There's another waterfall here by the Gucci store. I mean, there's so many people here. <laughs> There's not enough shopping in Seoul. So this is a special, like, futuristic exhibition that's here for the grand opening. Wow, that's cool. Okay, let it drop. Oh, oh, that was cool, Elijah. There's like a line to get into this thing. Maybe we should go to one deeper end. Yeah, let's go further in, away from the main entrance. So one of the um, levels of the mall has um, staffless stores, um, which I can totally envision happening in America with the minimum wage increase. So I'm interested to see how those work. But they use Amazon Web Services and there's no employees at the stores. So um, this whole mall is supposed to be more like futuristic and high tech. So this is some special um, exhibit that they've got. on you. Oh, Ella! <laughs> Go. try to play catch with the bubble. <laughs> We're on the second floor now. I think everything here is pretty expensive. 
Um, maybe underground is cheap. <laughs> Lots of like high name things. Um, each floor is something different. So we're on the second floor, which is um, clothing and shoes. Very modern looking. Third floor, more fashion, purses, and shoes. Let's see, okay, so, oh, let's check out this pair of socks. Wow, it's in pounds, or euros. That's interesting. There's another like kind of art fixture here. Wow. found some nice office supplies. This is a stapler for $75. It can be yours. Tape dispenser, $30. Okay, this looks simple. A pencil holder. Wow. Basically like 25 bucks. On the fifth floor, which is uh, more clothing, but also um, home home goods area. Hey, here's little trays. On the fifth floor, in the home goods area, you can have coffee. And then there's this floating pond with a tree. And we've not gone underground yet. Uh, this is the floor that had the home, home stuff. Everything's pretty expensive. Okay, so I might have said the wrong floor. Right now we're on the fifth floor. Fourth floor is where the home appliances and stuff is. Fifth floor is electronics. So Samsung is here, LG is here. Um, wow. Imagine this TV in your apartment. And there's something on this floor called Sounds Garden. So we're gonna check that out. Dyson is here. So this is the Sounds Garden and there's sounds of birds. Still in the middle of a mall, folks. Oh, that's kid stuff over there. Oh yeah, there's an art exhibit I want to see here. Andy Warhol. We're in the kids area. Fifth floor. Can you tell that we're in the kids area? <laughs> Screaming child. Whoa. You already have a cool scooter. 
We looked at the prices of the skateboard. 200 bucks. We are on the sixth floor, which is the top floor um, above ground, and this has restaurants and cafes. But everything's pretty full. We're on the sixth floor. No, no, B1, B1. There's William Sonoma. And then it's like a big eating area. Oh, maybe we can afford something in the event plaza. Sale items. And then lots of food choices. Here's a sushi place where it's on a conveyor belt. Okay, now this is pretty cool. We're still in B1 and it's like a food court and it looks like food trucks, different food trucks. And you get like a tray and you go to the food truck trying to find a place to sit. Wow. This is neat. Crazy here. We found a place to eat. We're having to split up though to get seats. Um, I mean, there's a ton of places to eat, but it's so busy here because it's grand opening. So the place is, everything's packed, the whole mall. So we did find a place that had some tables. Basically, we just had to find a table and then wherever it was, was where we are gonna eat. We lucked out and got two tables together. We ate at La Gria. I had a margarita pizza. She had a steak. She had a steak. Eli had wings and fries. Booyah! And I ate them all. Come on, Trish. Lots of good food choices here if you can find a place to sit. That's your problem. Now we're gonna go back up to the sixth floor where there is um, an art exhibition and they are showing um, an Andy Warhol exhibit. So um, we're gonna go back up to sixth floor. Okay, we are in the store that is not manned and you download an app, you connect your um, credit card to it and then there's stuff to buy and apparently this is gonna kind of be the future of stores here. Um, it solves the employee problem, paying for employees, and it solves the social distancing um, stuff too. So they allow only one family in at a time right now. So we're gonna try this out. Um, you, your app gets a QR code and that's how you buy stuff. So here we go. Okay, we think we're doing it right. We have stuff in a bag. And then apparently, just when you walk out, it charges your card. It somehow just knows what you had. You so guys. in a second, we're gonna walk out. Okay, so now we're walking out. We walked out, no alarms sounded, and we have our bag of stuff. <laughs> okay. Sadly, the Andy Warhol exhibit stopped taking people at 7.30. We were too busy waiting in line for the employee list store. So we can't see the Andy Warhol exhibit. Um, it's here, I think, for a few more weeks. So we might come back, but this is like an hour away, so I don't know. But um, all in all, it is a very nice mall. The aisles are very wide to walk through, so even though the place is packed, um, everything feels more spaced out. The employee list store is pretty neat. All the nature stuff that they have is pretty neat. Like every floor has something kind of like this.
And then the whole center has um, some waterfalls and things, neat art exhibits. Um, so it's very nice, but it is very upscale. All the shops here are expensive. Um, so we only bought some groceries in the, in the employee-less store. But it's a neat experience and it's very wide open and it's huge. So kind of neat to be able to say that we came. So that's it.